To give you the best possibility of hitting the target that you are aiming at, you need to make sure that you have fitted a decent quality scope mount and scope onto your rifle platform. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Rotini Officiana Mechanica Decumanus Monoblock Scope Mount. The name Decumanus is a Latin term for the principal road that generally runs east to west in a Roman town, and that is what this scope mount is named after. Let's unbox this and have a look and see what's inside. So what you can see here is the box that it comes in. So it's got nice graphics on the outside. And then on the side panel, it will tell you the product code and the description. So this one is a monoblock scope mount. This is the RMCS key zero MOA version. And the diameter and letters there refer to a 34 millimeter diameter so that's the tube that it's going to fit and then h38 and that is the height so let's have a look inside the box first thing we see is the instruction manual i do always recommend everybody reads the instruction manual i know we don't always like reading the instruction manual and that's another reason why i produce these videos so i read it so you don't have to Let's have a look. Okay, so a couple of stickers. Do you like stickers? You've got a certificate of inspection, so you can see that this was inspected uh, back in April and then signed for. So making sure that this has all been properly checked over. All these scope mounts are checked for their geometrical and dimensional features. And as you can see there, it's passed all of the checks, so it's within tolerance. Good to know. Put the wallet, and then we have the instruction manual here. So as you can see, Italian. And then if we open it up, you have the English instructions. Okay, so I'll just put that to one side. What else is in the box? So we have the mount itself. Let's just move that out of the way and then you can kind of see it properly. So just looking around. Okay, so it's a quick look around the actual monoblock itself. I'll talk about that more in detail in a second. And then this is part of the scope leveling kit. Got a nice little feature that comes with these monoblocks. Just put the box to one side. This scope mount features a multi-contact torsion system and that is part of these rings and you can see that they're all hinged. And if you look inside, you can see all of the different ridges that form part of this multi-contact system. It has a three junction locking system. Looking around the monoblock, you have all of these points here. These are all part of the alignment ultimate concept system. So when you buy other parts from Rotini Officiana Mechanica, they are designed to fit onto these monoblock mounts and using these connections they will all align perfectly. The system is made in light aluminium and it's matte black anodized. It's got a wear resistant and it's also reflection free. On the shooter side it's got an integrated spirit level so this is visible to the shooter. You will have to come off your scope to be able to see that um, so there are other solutions that are available. As one of their attachments, they do actually have a bubble level system. Um, I don't have that. I have a Vortex bubble level system that I will be using on my optic. All of the screws in this system are dark treated. And as you can see, they come with manufacturer thread lock on them so that when you insert your scope and mount your scope for the first time, you're gonna get a good seal. 
This monoblock is resistant to saline solutions. On each of the screws within the system, there is a brass spherical washer. That is it designed to increase the scope resistance. Let's take a look at mounting the scope into this scope mount. Tools you're gonna to need for mounting the scope on your rifle are a scope, the monoblock mount, the scope wedge, torque driver, a T20 bit, a T25 bit, a 964 and a bubble level. These bits may change depending on what equipment you have on your rifle, but this is what I'm going to be using on mine. Because this is a monoblock mount, it's easier, um, in my opinion, if you mount the scope into the monoblock first and then mount it on the rifle. You can then work out exactly where on the rifle you want it to get your correct eye relief. Uh, the Picatinny rail's got lots of adjustments. So, you'll need a T20 bit. Uh, doesn't necessarily matter what torque setting it's on at the moment because we're going to unscrew the bolts. So we're taking the bolts out. Make sure you have the washers with each of them. You can see more of that hinge now. So as you can see, that will adjust to the actual size and shape of the scope. We now open up the second ring. So that's the scope mount with all the bolts out, ready to accept the scope. So the bit with the bubble, that's the bit that's gonna be facing the shooter. So we just make sure that when we pop the scope in, it's the correct way around. Point to note with this, uh, there isn't loads of clearance in there. There's a little bit of play for the, so the scope could move backwards and forwards. Uh, I haven't done up the bolts yet. If we do need to adjust the eye relief, there is a slight amount of play in there. However, that play is going to be reduced because I am going to be putting a bubble mount on the front of the scope as well. Just so that I don't drop the scope out of the mount, put a bolt in number one on both mounts. And then firstly, we wind our torque driver all the way down to nine inch pounds. So that's one Newton meter. I'm just going to loosely put these in at first. Put the other screws in. Don't worry, I am going to tighten them in the correct sequence. And again, just put a few turns on each of the screws. I'm not talking it all the way down. Just until the, uh, the blue Loctite just kind of starts to bite. As you can see, the scope is still very loose in the mount. Before I uh, mount it onto the rifle, I'm just going to fit this bubble level as well. So, without the need of the screwdriver at the minute, just drop the bolts out. And I can align this bubble level to the other bubble level uh, once it's fitted on the rifle. So, just place that on the front. I'm going to do the underneath bolt first. Just loosely by hand to start with, just to get it on there. And then the top bolt. So I'm just gonna have that so that's still quite loose so that I can adjust that once it's on the scope itself. Do it up finger tight, that's not gonna wobble off. I'm gonna push it just before the bell. What I want to avoid doing is putting any pressure on the junction of this scope because that will damage it. Again, I want to avoid going up to, up to sort of like the, the main part here. I want to leave a bit of room so I've got a little bit of play in there not much next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the scope level wedge so it's got a flat edge 
and then it's got sort of like a an angled edge. I don't know if you can see that. It's got an angled edge. So the angled edge is going to go uppermost, and that's the bit that's going to put the correct angle on our scope. I'm just going to take these dust covers off just for the time being, and I'll put that back on in a minute. So this wedge, as you can see there, there's a little slot. So that goes into the slot. So I'll place it on the floor. And as I insert the wedge, you'll see the scope levels. So that is the scope level within the mount. Making sure the scope wedge is firmly inserted, we then get the T20 bit. We set our torque driver to one newton meter or nine inch pounds, and then we tighten the bolts in sequence and they're numbered. So it says one, one, two, two, three, three. And then we uh, change the torque setting, but I'll go through that part of the sequence first. So that's the first sequence of the bolts. Once you've tightened these six screws, you can then remove the wedge. This might be a little bit tight. Next thing we need to do is adjust this to 18 inch pounds or two Newton meters. 18 inch pounds. And again, we tighten them in the order that it shows on the mount itself. So now the scope is firmly mounted and it's all nice and level. Next thing we need to do is get the scope mounted onto the rifle. So to mount the monoblock and scope onto the rifle, uh, we find a slot on the Picatinny rail that best suits our eye relief. For me, having the rear of the ocular lens, the rear of the pistol grip, that generally works for me. Also, that's gonna keep the monoblock as part of the action. So if I do remove the barreled action, I don't necessarily have to remove the optic. So you need a T25 bit. So you need to set your torque screwdriver with your T25 bit to four Newton meters or 35 inch pounds. 30, 35. And then you'll notice on the bottom of the monoblock, they've got sequence one, two, three, four. So next we tighten the bolts to torque. Just gonna go around the sequence again. Okay, so now I'm happy that that scope mount is gonna be nice and solid on the rifle. Next, I'm just gonna set up the bubble level. So I'm gonna make sure that that is level with the bubble in the back of the monoblock scope mount. Now I think that is looking pretty good so that the scope and the bipod and the mount all fitted. As I operate with the rifle a lot outside I'm going to fit the sunshade into the scope. There you go, that's all done. Thank you for watching my video on fitting the Decumanus monoblock scope mount. As you can see, it looks really cool actually on the rifle. Uh, really impressed with that good solid um, scope mount. So can't wait to, to take this to the range. In my next video, I'm going to look at setting up the rifle. You wouldn't get into a car without adjusting the seat, the wing mirrors and everything and making sure that it is right for you, same with the rifle. So I'm gonna go through the things you need to do to make sure your rifle is fitted to you. I hope you like this video. Please give this video a like and drop me a comment. It'll be really great to hear from you. If you didn't like this video, I really hope you do enjoy some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching.